going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be building the bed frame for my van. I already got started, so I'm going to show you what I have so far, my ideas, and then we'll go from there. So as you can see, I have boxed in the wheel wells. And those are just uh, two by twos with some plywood over facing them. Um, so I box those in just to uh, give the bed some support and to just kind of finish it off. And so now I'm getting started with the frame. So I'm building this frame out of two by fours and my idea is to have slats going across the entire bed this way. And this half is going to lift up towards the front of the vehicle so you can get into the storage here. And then this back half where I am is just going to be open. So I'm going to be building this frame in a couple different pieces, a couple different steps. The first step, I'm just getting this outline done and I'm doing two of the same size uh, outlines. So what I'm gonna work on now is getting pocket holes drilled into these two by fours and then I'm gonna bring them in here and screw them together. But actually before I do that, I need to cut the rest of the two by fours so I can build the rest of the frame. for a minute but this is the outline of the frame so basically you can see it's two of the same outlines right and this is all actually gonna sit about this high so it's gonna have little legs going down onto this box and then some longer legs back here going down to the floor obviously this one's gonna have to come a little bit further this way and then some supports on these middle ones as well as the support in the middle in the front and in the back here. So the way that I'm planning on being able to lift up the front portion is I'm going to actually copy this outline with 1x4s. And then on top of those 1x4s, I'm going to lay some 1x4 slats going this way. And then that way the frame will be stable and then I'll hinge that second outline that I just described right here and then it'll be able to lift up this way. I'll have to build the same exact thing for this side except for we're not gonna be able to lift this one up so it'll just be screwed down to the frame that we build. Okay, so now pocket hole time. drilling those pocket holes so we're gonna get the boards into the van and get them secured. F for front. <laughs> okay you're not gonna be able to see this very well which is okay I guess because 
I'm going to be screwing the boards together in the van just because I'm afraid I won't be able to get them in here if they're uh, screwed together because it just might be too big for the doors. So I'm going to be using some wood glue and those pocket holes that I just drilled and I'm going to start screwing the frame together over here. <laughs> Okay, so I got the outline of the frame completely finished. These are all, you know, wood glue and pocket holes. Got two of kind of the same shape. And the next step will be to raise this up about to where this stops and put some legs underneath. So if I would have thought about it, I would have built these boxes that much higher so that it could rest on the box just like this. but. I didn't think about that, so it's going to just have legs down to the box on either side, which will give us a little bit of extra storage, so it's probably worth it. And then just legs on the corners here, legs in the middle, and then there will be a wall splitting this in half so that the back storage will just go halfway and the front storage just halfway. But I don't know, it seems like it's going to be pretty strong, but I'm done for the day, so catch you in a little bit. All right, so I've done some more work on the bed frame in the van, show you the progress. So I have raised up the frame that I showed you in the last part um, with some, with the legs. And like I said, raised it up off this box with some just little short legs and it stops right where this little uh, piece of plastic ends. And I got some in the middle as well. And now what I'm working on is getting the slats running across the frame. So we'll come over to the other side. This is gonna be the front storage, right? There's gonna be two really big storage areas. It's like, I think it's like two foot by two foot by 20 inches or something like that. And since we're doing slats across the bed, we need to get it, be able to get in to the storage, right? Under the bed. There's going to be, like I said, a cabinet here and a cabinet here. So we won't be able to go through the front. So my idea was to make the part with the slats be able to move up. So it's basically gonna be hinged along the middle right here, this front section, gonna have slats, and then we're gonna be able to raise this up. Um, you can see this was the original frame, the two by four, and then this is a one by four that I'm just adding so that you can lift this up. Obviously it'll have slats on it, and then you can get underneath the bed. So the back section of the bed doesn't need to raise up since we can get to it from the bottom here, uh, just through the back doors. So we don't need to hinge the part with the slats on it, but the problem is that we are raising up that side, you know, adding that one by four. So on this side, we have to also add that one by four just to make sure it's the same height. And so I have this one by four, one by four right here and I got it where I want it and now I'm just gonna start putting slats over it and then this back section is just gonna be screwed down all the way. slats cut for the uh, first section, the back section, and I'm just going to lay them out and see what looks good. I think I have enough for the first one. So that is essentially what we're looking at. Obviously, nice and lined up and everything. Okay, so a quick update. 
Got all these slats cut and now we are screwing them down to the frame. And uh, how we're doing it, you see the spaces are all fairly even, is we're using an extra piece of this one by one by four, plus some uh, quarter inch plywood. We just have, let's see, two, three more to go on this one. And then we gotta do that one. So it's been a few days since I've recorded anything for this video. Uh, last you saw, I didn't quite have the frame finished yet, but I was almost there. I had most of the work done. And now it's completely finished. It even has the storage done, which we just did today. And we're actually working on the sink cabinet that's gonna go over here. And we've kind of been doing both at the same time, but for this video, I'm gonna wrap it up and show you around, show you what I got done. All right guys, so here's the finished bed frame. I got all of the uh, one by four screwed down to the extra um, frame that I built out. I built, you know, I just did the outline again. And you can see I just hinged the two pieces together and I just put the hinges on each board and it works out pretty well actually. I'll show you, Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Uh, we put this little handle on here just so you can get it up, but this part lifts up and then we got nice big storage under here. And I'll show you around back. Okay, so this is gonna be our back storage. You can see it just goes up to that wall. And this one does not lift up, right? So it's just gonna stay open like this. And we'll just be able to get to our storage from here. All right, so that's it for our bed frame build. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I I think this bed turned out really awesome. I think it turned out even better than I thought it could do it. So really, really happy with it. If you guys have any questions about our build, just drop a comment and I'll make sure to answer all of those. If you want to see more of our van build, just make sure to subscribe to our channel. We're going to be filming and uploading videos about the rest of our build. Each piece we're going to make a video for. So the next one is going to be the sink cabinet and all the plumbing that goes along with that. We've got a video coming up about our bed. Not the frame, but the actual mattress and the topper and our whole situation with that. And then we'll be filming the rest of the storage and the counter over here. So lots of fun videos coming up. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. All right guys, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.